days at sea are a great opportunity to stand out on deck and just search for things. And we're looking for anything that we can find, whether it's fish, bird, or mammal, and you never know what we're going to see. Now these are short fin pilot whales. You see the males are easy to identify because the fin, the dorsal fin, is so broad at the base. Look at that oh. tail slap. <laughs> There's a ridge that connects Ilias Desertas here to Ponta San Lorenzo, the big point at the eastern end of Madeira. There has been no active volcanism in the Madeira group in historic times, probably for at least four or five million years. So it's a very old island, very eroded, but that gives us an opportunity to look inside the volcanic rocks and we can see lots of nice dikes and layering and ash layers and lava layers. It's a very good opportunity to look into the volcano. We're here on Madeira. We've come out to the east end of the island and we're hiking at Punta San Lorenzo. The area is a beautiful coastal area, spectacular cliffs, remarkable geology. It's all volcanic. These rocks are about five million years old. And as well as the geology, there's some good birds to see as well. We've seen the Bertholot's pipit, and we've also seen canaries, both birds which are endemic to the archipelagos of the Madeira and the Canary Islands. We're in Cape Verde. The island group was discovered in 1460 by Diego Gomez, a famous Portuguese explorer, and King Afonso V decided it was important to colonize the island group. Portuguese established themselves here in 1462. This was their first tropical colony, first European tropical colony. To me, it's fascinating because I'm going to the places that were known to those early explorers and seeing them in a new way and actually seeing them in a very convenient sequence. Coming into a harbour or seeing on the horizon the outline of an island, the feeling of the sea is there. And I do value that, I really value that. I love doing these trips, I really do. 